Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Today I will presentation about potential of bacteria consortium as growth controller of pathogenic fungi Fusarium oxysporum FSP cubans Indonesia is one of the bananas producing country in Southeast Asia which has more than 230 scattered now Indonesian region Based on the Ministry of Agriculture of the Republic Indonesia in 2019, the production of banana plants in Indonesia in 2017 amount to 7,162,678 tons, and in 2018 increased to 7,264,379 tons. Most of the banana crop production in Indonesia is used for domestic consumption and the rest is used for export activity. One example for the banana plants producer with the huge amount of the harvested banana in Indonesia is PT Perkebunan Nusantara 8 Parakan Salak Sukabumi. PT Perkebunan Nusantara 8 Parakan Salak is one of the producer of national fruit with high production yield. However, yield production of banana in PT Pen 8 Parakan Salak has decreased due to the attack of Panama yield caused by Fusarium. The disease of banana plants that can lower the quality of banana plants production. In addition, this disease caused the banana plants to wither to death so that the plant cannot produce harvestable fruit because Fusarium can spread with the help of wind and water. The purpose of the research is evaluate the activity of best inhibitory result in vivo against Fusarium oxysporum FSP cubans in banana plants, evaluate the characterization of bacteria controlling the development of fungi, and then finding the best inhibitory bacteria result as a controller of Panama wild in banana plants. And then the benefit of doing this research is to evaluate the effectiveness of inhibiting bacteria results that have the potential as a biocontrol to Fusarium oxysporum FSP cubans. This research was conducted at the Laboratory of Chemist, Molecular, Microbiology, and Greenhouse of Al Azhar University, Indonesia, which took place from July 2019 until August 2020. Sample comes from research of Adi Harisa on 2019, located in PTPN 8, Kebun Parakan Salak, Sukabumi. The following are the tools and material that I used during my research. This is my research flow chart. First of all, I did a reculture of Fusarium oxysporum and bacterial isolate. Then, I used Fusarium oxysporum and bacterial isolate for antagonistic testing. The antagonistic test aims to determine the effectiveness of isolate that can inhibit Fusarium growth. Furthermore, each isolate used in the pathogen test to determine the level of pathogen of each bacterium use. If the bacteria are non-pathogenic and have inhibition strength above 20%, the bacteria will be tested for compatibility to determine the synergism between isolate. Isolate that synergize with each other will form a consortium. An isolate with high inhibition against Fox that will be tested in vivo through the greenhouse scale of suppressive soil experiment. In vitro antagonist test result from 24 bacterial isolate that have the antagonistic ability of Fusarium forum from 34 bacterial isolate with inhibitory power varying between 6 until 29%. The highest antagonistic ability is shown by BS. 3, 4B with a percentage of 29%, while the lowest antagonist ability is shown by BS2, 4A with a percentage of 6%. Antagonistic ability marked by inhibition zone was shown by Bacillus Falis Mortis strain NBRC with a percentage of 26%, while isolate without antagonistic ability were shown by Bacillus cereus ATC. This is percentage inhibition about 20% bacterial isolate against Fusarium oxysporum. Pathogenic test using blood-based agar with the addition of sheep blood defibrination as much as 5 until 10%. 
The blood contains anticoagulant to prevent clotting and detect the ability of bacterial hemolysis using the strict plate technique. Perfect hemolysis is marked by a clear zone. Partial hemolysis is characterized by change, changes in the color of the media to greenish or brownish. A clear zone formed in beta hemolysis showed that the isolate was pathogenic. While isolate that do not undergo media, hemolysis will not change. This figure show partial hemolysis or alpha hemolysis, complete hemolysis or beta hemolysis, and then no hemolysis or gamma hemolysis. This table shows the synergism between isolate and forms a group of bacterial isolate that synergize with each other called consortium. And then compatible bacterial isolate are characterized by the absence of lysis at the point of intersection of the line. The lysis of intersection of the line is seen based on the growth between isolate. Meanwhile, isolate that do not synergize will appear at an intersection point lysis which is marked by difference in the size of the isolate and overlapping between isolate. Based on the result of compatibility testing between bacteria obtained for consortia, however, consortia 4 wasn't for testing greenhouse scale of suppressive soil experiment. Greenhouse scale of suppressive soil experiment with single isolate on the five day after infection. The bacteria on the soil show symptoms of Fusarimoxis warum milk that characterize by the occurrence of leaf chlorosis, namely discoloration of the oldest leaves to yellow. Greenhouse scale of suppressive soil experiment with consortium isolate on 5 day after infection show that the banana plants are not given antagonistic consortium bacteria on the soil show symptoms of Fusarium oxysporum that characterized by the occurrence of leaf chlorosis. And then on the 45 day after infection, banana plants show symptoms of Fusarium oxysporum which is marked by a change in a rhizome, pseudostem change to blackish brown, and leaves will be through dryness. This figure show is comparison between control, control fusarium, banana plants with the addition single isolate and consortium isolate. Banana plants with the addition consortium isolate has a better inhibition mechanism than a single isolate. Because there is a mechanism of interaction between microbial antagonists to inhibit the development of Fusarium oxysporum. Besides, the bacterial consortium has a superior effect on plants because synergistic interaction between bacteria can provide nutrient, eliminate inhibitory product, and stimulate one another through physical biochemical activity that can physiological effect. Meanwhile, the addition of antagonistic bacteria to the soil of Fusarium oxysporum infected plants can stun contact and penetration of pathogen to its host, elongate the incubation period and suppress the growth of pathogenic fungi. The conclusion of this research is Isolat BS34B and Bacillus cereus strain CCM2010 are non-pathogenic isolate that are antagonistic and able to inhibit the growth of fungal pathogenic Fusarium oxysporum FSP cubans with a percentage of inhibition of 29% and 25%. The use of bacterial rhizosphere bacteria, bacillus, and staphylococcus, the limited test of greenhouse scale suppressive soil show that the genus can suppress the growth of fusarium wilt in banana plants. The use of consortium in the greenhouse scale of suppressive soil experiment provides the best effectiveness in inhibiting fog growth.